could you show us how to save a prop stream list and import it into a pretty simply uh, i've been having trouble doing that so uh let's say i have the list saved already as i was building this so let's say i have this another list of you know highland absentee so it's super simple what i want to do is i want to select all you know this is the filter list that i have um this is yeah so this is the uh, i don't know for some reason it cleared out my filters but uh what I want to do is I want to just click export right here. It's going to export everything out, uh, all these 183 records out of uh, my account. Then next thing I want to do is I want to go into my account. I will go into this a little bit more in detail uh, next week call. So I want to click on add. Let me find that list. Let's downloaded it as Excel. Let me change it to CSV. Yeah, so before you're importing any list into vSimply, you just want to make sure it's saved as a CSV format, not an Excel format. Yeah, I'm sure there's a there's a way to change that to CSV exported list when I'm exporting it from PropStream, but I didn't look into that. So I'm going to go ahead and in my downloads, exported list, so I'm going to go ahead and select this. Once I do this, I mean, most of this information should automatically be mapped correctly. Uh, like based on the address, you know, property seat address. If you have unit numbers, then you can do like the unit number, property, city, state, and all the information that you're uh, importing, you know, all the information that all of this that you want to import, you want to make sure it's map, mailing address, um, you know, county, you don't have to, our system would pull automatically. Uh, and then the other thing would be first name and last name. So you want to do first name and uh, last name. And once you do that, you go ahead and do this. And then this would be my absentee list. Then you would just go ahead and select absentee. Uh, you're not opting out anything and marking anything as return no skip list. Just go ahead and click submit, and then it would pull all the data in. So 183 would just take a couple of minutes, and the data would get pulled in.